initially the oxygen reduces and the carbon dioxide increases which is respiratory acidosis and if you do not do anything about that then lack of oxygen will re give rise to anaerobic metabolism and metabolic acidosis develops which gives rise to major fetal organ damage. A simple way of looking at respiratory acidosis and metabolic acidosis is to think about immersing somebody under water for three minutes. If you immerse somebody under water for three minutes and take the person out, the person will come out and gasp. <sighs> that is hyperventilating because when the person is under water, the carbon dioxide <laughs> accumulates, the metabolism of burning the glucose with the oxygen still takes place, the aerobic metabolism, carbon dioxide and water which forms carbonic acid when the person comes out, breathes away the carbon dioxide and the pH comes to normal. If the same person is kept under water for seven or eight minutes, they would have gone through the pass of respiratory acidosis. Respiratory acidosis is because it's cleared by the respiratory system, so we call it respiratory acidosis. But if you keep it for seven or eight minutes and take the person out, there's not enough oxygen in the system, so the glucose is metabolized to turn into lactic acid. So the acid level in the cells, the individual cells drops, and the many enzyme system don't work, especially the sodium potassium pump. So when it doesn't work, fluid rushes in with the potassium, cells become edematous and they don't function. So if you take somebody under water after eight or nine minutes, the person might not breathe because the lungs are not functioning, needs ventilation, might need cardiac massage, the brain might become edematous. The kidney may not function because the kidney cells are edematous and there'll be oliguria, liver enzymes might go up. A similar change to a baby born with asphyxia, if the baby goes to the neonatal intensive care in a poor condition after you deliver the baby, it's not good enough to ask whether the baby has convulsions or not, whether the baby is in coma, grade three encephalopathy, but also to see whether the baby is passing urine, how is the blood urea, how is the liver enzyme, because if it is not elevated, or if it is elevated and comes down very quickly, then the hypoxic injury is not so severe. So it's quite important for us to really make sure there's no major fetal organ damage when we are talking about fetal surveillance. So decrease in blood flow, either through the reduction in gas exchange, carbon dioxide accumulates, that's respiratory acidemia, and in, on the other side, there can be a metabolic acidosis, both reduces the pH. Now, respiratory acidosis is a common thing in any labor, even without decelerations. The pH drops by 0 0.01 every hour. That's why when the babies are born, they have some element of respiratory acidemia, they cry, wash out the carbon dioxide. Metabolic acidemia takes time, so it comes with lots and lots of decelerations, rise in baseline rate, or acute bradycardia, then metabolic acidosis comes in, and we should be able to distinguish one from the other and able to manage them. So still we have time. I'm going to give you some time to ask a couple of questions while I change the slide. So do you want to ask any questions? Okay, so um, you can ask me any, any question anytime.